Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are keeping well. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. I think it's been like a full month. Um, it's actually just been such a crazy time. So we all know that we're living through this global pandemic and it's been so hard almost getting motivation to put out videos, especially when not not knowing when we're going to be going back out into the world again. So I've been seeing all the love that you've been sending me and all of the, um, the comments on the older videos and just reminding me to continue doing what I'm doing, even though, you know, we're living in such uncertain times. So I am back and and not even hopefully I'm back and we're gonna keep on doing this and you guys are gonna keep telling me what you want to see on these videos um, so at any point when I'm feeling flat I'm looking forward to you guys um, just you know coming through with the ideas and just seeing how we can um, keep on building community and building each other in this freediving world so last week I wrote I wrote a blog about freediving in the times of COVID because we obviously know that we can't keep on freediving in the way that we always have. So what does that mean and how do we change it up a little bit? Because one, we don't wear masks when we're in the water, at least not face masks. And two, what needs to happen if you have an emergency and you need to do CPR? So what do we do? So, so today we're going to talk about five things that I picked up from our first dive out, my first dive since COVID. So it has been three to four months since we've been in the water and the one of the quarries that we dive in, they opened up and they said, you know, you guys are, they only allow swimmers and fishermen and in every single way free diving could well be swimming. So we were out there and we just had a fantastic opportunity to enjoy the water and of course everyone has been doing um, dry training, dry breath training. So it wasn't such an issue the holding of the breath but the water was 14 degrees so it was really really cold and um, but it was fun and it was beautiful and it was fantastic to be in the water again and there was fish and Yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video that I post um, And let me know your thoughts. Have you guys been able to get into the water yet? Anyway, without further ado, let's go into it um, So number one stretch now you might be thinking what well it's been a long time since we've been in the water so what i thought was the most important thing was to stretch especially when you think about your ankles and that little move your fin move that's not a normal um, exercise or a normal muscle that you'd be working often so just a reminder to properly stretch stretch into your lungs stretch into your ankles stretch stretch everything um, so if you're able to just take five to ten minutes to stretch your body we have a video on the channel where you can see what stretches are fantastic and I'll also link it in the video below just so that you can have a look at it um, and I hope that helps you in your free dive because especially with us our water was quite cold so the stretch was really really important Number two, practice your equalization. So this sounds so stupid because, you know, maybe you've been in the water your whole life and if that's the case, maybe you don't need to. But I found that I needed to just equalize while I was on land, make sure that everything is working. My sinuses are open, the world is open, my lungs are open. That was an important part for me. Um, and while we were diving, one of the ladies actually said, so she did a little duck dive and she quickly came back up and she said, I forgot how to equalize. And that's such an important thing because then your natural thing is to go into your vasalva. 
instead of your friends all so just a reminder to check up on your equalization equalize while you're on the surface of the water before you descend and again as often as you can before you get any kind of discomfort um, you need to equalize at least that's what i thought was most important to share Number three, start shallow. So with us, the quarry that we went to gets quite darky and murky and does not have the best visibility. So start shallow. So we went exactly to a place that is around five to seven meters. And that was a great place for us to just duck and duck and duck without needing to drop a line or anything. We could just play without having to worry about the depth aspect so we were just playing seeing how the body is feeling seeing how the body is reacting to being in the water and that was actually quite fun so start shallow as well because it helps to build up your confidence so even if you're not feeling so even if you're not feeling as comfortable or as confident you know when you're going to drop the line to 15 and it's your first time in the water it might just kind of feel um not as fun to the other people who might be battling so if you start at five to seven meters everyone knows that they're feeling good everyone knows that they're able to equalize everybody knows that their suits are fantastic their waiting is fantastic and you feel good and when you feel good you do good and then you move on to a deeper part and for me that was also great because i was nervous not knowing how my body would feel after such a long time not being in the water so start shallow and gradually build up that depth. Number four, dive within your limits. This is important because if anything has to go wrong, the world has changed up a bit in that CPR and any kind of mouth to mouth poses new dangers to people who are around you. So we already know that a safe diver is a diver who knows how to do a rescue, but we don't want to bring anyone to a point where they need to rescue anyone. So dive within your limits and maybe this is not the time to be pushing it so see how your body is feeling and work with your body but i think the most important thing i mean this has always been the most important thing within free diving diving within your limits so dive within your limits see how it feels and i mean if this pandemic is anything to go by i think we're going to be in our growing limits for a very long time so take your time there's no rush it doesn't seem like the world is in a rush to be opening up anyway so rather be a safe diver and i think that's the most important thing And number five, play. So 
this for me is always the most important thing in anything that i do be it if i'm working out or be it if i'm hiking or whatever it is that i could be doing the most important thing is to play because when we play that's how our body grows that's how we grow that's how our tolerance grows this is how we get stronger so i think the most important thing instead of chasing depth and instead of chasing the many things that we could chase I would propose that we play and we see how our bodies are feeling and just, I don't know, I, I find that when we play this is often a great time for us to see where our bodies are at and we're able to just grow. So yeah, so guys that's my video for this week. When we went out diving this was, when I got out of the water it was the one thing that was in my head and in my heart that said, you know this is important to me and i want to share it with the world so if you guys are you know let me know one are you guys able to dive to depth yet so are your seas open are your quarries open are your pools open and how has that been feeling how does it feel to dive after such a long time and what else did you pick up when you went diving so i'm keen to hear what you guys think i'm keen to hear how you guys are doing let me know you're okay um i'm okay um and i'm happy that the world has opened up again slightly but the COVID cases have increased again in our country so i think our little liberties might go away soon but for now we get to enjoy it and yeah i'm so glad i could catch up with you guys drop me drop me a comment below let me know whatever it is that you want to share because i do want to hear from you and i want to know that you're okay anyway i hope you have a fantastic week cheers